Today, we're going to take this forward and talk about this truth that we are sons and daughters of God. I want to just condense what it means to be a son and a daughter of God and what, what, how, how this truth should grip our hearts and how we live out of this in everyday life. The first thing is this, we understand that we are adopted as sons and daughters. This gives us a sense of belonging. God has adopted you. We didn't deserve this. But he said, I'm bringing you into my family. So you are not a prodigal. You're not a slave. You're not an orphan. Don't behave like one. Amen. Don't ever say, Oh God, I have nobody in this world. So God, what did, what did I do for you? I adopted you. You belong to God. You are not an orphan in this world. You are not a slave. You are a son and a daughter of God. The second thing we see here in these verses is that He has chosen us. You're chosen to be loved. And uh, we read that God chose us even before the foundation of the world. To choose means He literally picked you. Literally. He chose you. He said, you're going to be mine. And He says He chose us so that we would be holy and without blame, covered by His love. The third thing we see here is this. You and I are predestined to be like Jesus. So predestined means that God planned ahead of time. He said those whom he foreknew, that means he knew ahead of time, Romans 8 says, he predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. Predestined means he said, okay, here's a plan. That all my sons and daughters, I'm going to make them like Jesus. The fourth thing we see in all of these verses is as a son and a daughter, you're called to his purpose. He says, God is working all things together for our good, for those who, who, are, who love Him and were called to His purpose. So you and I are called to the purposes of God. That means, God has, th that word called simply means to be invited and appointed. So you are called. What does that mean? He invited you and then He appointed you. He invited you into His plan and He appointed you for His purpose. So you are called. As a son and daughter of God, the Bible here, the scriptures also tell us that we've been justified in His sight. And we saw this earlier. To be justified in His sight means you're completely free in His sight. So those whom He foreknew, He predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son. And then He also, uh, those whom He called, He also justified. He also justified. That means, he says, I want you to be free, completely free in my sight. So as a son and a daughter of God, you must know that you are justified in God's eyes. And the Bible tells us here that those whom he justified, he also glorified. That means you and I, as sons and daughters, we are glorified together with Jesus. That means he's brought us into a place a glorified place. Let me talk about that. What does it mean to be glorified? As a son and a daughter, he's put you in a place, an, an exalted place, so to speak, a place of glory, a place of honor together with Christ. And so how do we live as sons and daughters? Firstly, we must understand we are beloved of the Father. We are deeply loved by the Father. As a son, as a son and a daughter, understand you are beloved of the Father. You're deeply loved by God. Secondly, how do we live as sons and daughters of God? We are brethren. It means we are family. And uh, the scriptures teach us, and then especially in Hebrews chapter 2, and I've not read that scripture, but the uh, scripture teaches us that, you know, we are brethren. We are part of the family of God. And as brethren, we live as family. As son, sons and daughters, just a few more points here. We are heirs. We have an inheritance. The Bible says, and if we are children, and we read this in many places, if we are children, then we are heirs of God. What does it mean to be an heir of God? It means God has given you an inheritance. Then the Bible also says, if we are children, then we are heirs of God and we are joint heirs with Christ. 
What does it mean to be a joint heir? It means what he's got, you got. That's what it means to be a joint heir. You're sharing the inheritance. Whatever is his, is yours. The last thing we see here, I'll close here, close with this, is we are ambassadors for Christ. As children of God, we are ambassadors. We represent the kingdom. Wherever you go, God says, represent me. The reason you're a son and a daughter of God is to be an ambassador for the kingdom.